I looked at it and thought, that is the most beautiful car. That would be the triumph to own one day. My name is Roger Williams. I'm the owner of Triumph Italia number 102. What makes the car special for me is uh, Michelotti's design here just seems almost perfect from any angle. All the proportions and uh, the styling are just perfectly executed in this car. One of the things I was told by the previous owner was that his brother and his father repainted the car in the 60s because the New Mexico uh, sun had cracked the uh, original red paint um, that had been put on at the Vinali factory and apparently the paint was very thick and had cracked and glazed in the desert sun there. was sold new in Italy to an American who brought it home two years later to Albuquerque. He sold the car to another airman, to a young fighter pilot. Tragically, he didn't get to drive the car for more than about a year before he was killed in a plane crash in the line of duty. But the car stayed with his family for the next 50 years. His younger brother drove it to high school in Albuquerque. After that, his father, who was also colonel in the Air Force, used it to drive to and from the Kirtland Air Force Base in Albuquerque. And then around 1970, the third brother drove the car out here to California. Around 1973, basically put it into storage in a private hangar he had at the San Jose Airport. So around 2013, he was looking to move out of the area and was looking to what to do with a car, and that led him to British sports cars in San Luis Obispo. And they took the car on and restored it over the next two years from the ground up. And uh, it was at that point after it was uh, restored that I saw it up for sale, and as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. and I drove down next day and uh, bought it. The great thing about driving this car is while it looks great, underneath you have a real TR3 Roadster sports car and so it's a lot of fun to drive and it's pretty fast even compared with a lot of more modern cars on the road today and people are kind of surprised when uh, they get passed by this car. In this car, everything just seems just right. 